Alright guys, welcome to your 22nd iPhone development tutorial. In the last tutorial we were working in the interface file and in this tutorial we're going to be working in the implementation file. So you know, no small talk here, let's just jump right into it. Uh, let's go ahead and of course, let me go ahead, of course we need to import switch class dot h look at that I already typed it in for us and now under synthesize uh, window what we want to do is we also want to synthesize that switch class object we made uh, don't forget that's the one that we uh, retained you know we created that in the last tutorial we're just synthesizing it so we don't have to build setter and getter methods so after this what we want to do is we want to start working in the application did finish launching and this is the method that gets run or excuse me ran automatically when your application is done launching so what do we want to do pretty much as soon as our application launches we want to add that switch classes view to the main window so in order to do this go ahead and window that's your main window we want to add sub view and this view that we want to add is pretty much this alright as soon as your application starts running, what view do we want to add? Well, we want to add switch class, the view from that class, because remember, this is the class that's going to manage all the other views. So this is the one we want to show them first. So after this, all we need to do is, uh, in our deallocation method, just go ahead and release that switch class object. So switch class release, because don't forget in our interface file, we retained it right here so anything that we retained or excuse me it's this one anyone that we retain we have to release it eventually so now that we did that I mean what we're saying is pretty much alright as soon as our main window pops up as soon as we press our program to start our application up show them that switch classes view so since we said show them that switch class view I think it would only be fair to start building something in a switch class so go ahead in your interface file for switch class and delete all these dumb comments I wish there was a way it's like automatically don't give me any comments but you know I don't think there is so anyways alright now check it out like I said a hundred times before all this class is is pretty much a manager for all the other classes so let's go ahead and import class blue class and class red class so now what we need to do is we need to build objects to be able to access those classes so red class build an object called red class and blue class oops build an object called blue class make sure I spelled everything right close enough alright so now let's go ahead and add property retain non-atomic red class and red class not just copy this right here copy and paste blue class and blue class so what we did here is pretty much build objects to access anything that's in the red class and blue class and we pretty much built the setter and getter methods for us without having to synthesize it yet but we'll do that later on so aside from this what this switch class needs to be able to do is it only has one other action in it and the action that it needs to have is to be able to switch from one view to another view again that's the cool thing we only had to build one method in here and that's going to be the action so IB action just name this like switch views and of course it's going to take a parameter ID sender like everything else we typed so far so what we did in you know what that's probably enough for this tutorial that's all the code I'm going to type and uh, in next tutorial we're going to be hopping in interface builder and connecting everything but what I did is pretty much um, import my classes of course and then build an objects build objects to access my classes and then we're going to build property because we want to build setter and getter, getter methods for these objects but we don't want to have to type manually so that's why we did this in our action what this action or method is going to do is it's just going to whenever you click that button it's going to switch from one class to the other class really simple so that's all I'm going to show you guys in this tutorial we'll be uh, 
connecting everything in the next tutorial and be going over some other stuff but you know I won't explain it now because what's the use that's what the next tutorial is for so uh, thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you then